Hello, 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 I'm Dr. Kenny Harless, and I want to share with you a, a huge metaphor, a symbol in my life, and I try to attach meaning to my life and everything that I do when I'm aware of how to do this, and this is a mug, a coffee cup, and what this reminds me of is multiple things, but number one, it reminds me this, if, if my cup is poured out, if it's empty, then I can be poured into. Another metaphor of this reminds me that when this thing is overflowing, I have more to share and more to give. So every morning when I start my day, the first thing that I do is I start off by listening to my life script. I give gratitude minimally for 10 things. I don't get out of bed until I literally, honestly, like I feel I get goosebumps for what I'm grateful for. And not only that, this little mug right here is a reminder to me, this was given to me by my daughter. And it's a reminder of why every day I need to pour into myself to get better, to be better, so that I can love more. You see, life is like a gas tank, our, our relationships. And if you're not pouring in, if you're not putting gas in that tank continuously, you're gonna run out of gas. And what's so funny is Ralph Waldo Emerson so beautifully said, he said, do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. You literally start to attract people around you that are going to help you heighten yourself. You see, the more you study and become aware, you become enlightened. And this morning I went to get some juice really early. It was dark outside and there was a dragonfly, which there's so much beautiful symbology behind a dragonfly. Don't believe me, go look it up. It's amazing. But here's the thing. That dragonfly saw light inside of this uh, store and everything else was pitch black. And he was literally going so hard into the window that he was going to kill himself. He was going to run out of energy if the sun doesn't shoot up just in time. And I guess what I'm asking you is, who can you be the light in someone's life today? Who can you go and make a difference to? Because if you start your day off looking at your coffee cup and realizing what are you going to pour into that cup today? Is it going to be positive and influential or is it going to be negative? And what I've learned is resentment is like drinking poison and hoping you kill the other person. So if you're holding those boulders, let those go. Pour that out. You know, that's why I love, if you look at the cross, right? If you're a Christian, you look at the cross, the cross is a crossroad. It's, that's how God flips us upside down to pour into us. It's truly amazing when you think about that. You see, if my cup's full, I can't be poured into. So if I remember to empty my cup, to start off every day with something grateful, maybe some days, maybe I don't have coffee, <laughs> but I got a cup. So I focus on what I have and not what I don't have. And the next trick is this, not only to focus on the physical things, focus on the things that you see in your mind before all things start in the mind. All creation's already here. God's already created everything. It's up to us to tap into it. So how can you today take this information? How can you apply this to your life, to your family? How can you be the, become the best version of you? Because when you become the best version of you, that is the greatest gift that we can give humanity. I think it was Clarence Smithson and he said, faith is the ability to see the invisible to believe in the incredible. And that is what will allow you to do what the masses feel to be impossible. So I pray to God every day and every way you and your family get better and better. Make it a great day. And hey, tune in again tomorrow. I'll be here live. And if you love these lives, please comment, like, follow us. And we're doing a live beautiful webinar November 2nd, which is this Monday coming up at 8 p.m. So check us out. Hope you have a blessed day. Go make it a great day.